So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make about like 20 million coins or even more easily in FC Mobile without really doing anything, without investing any coins. And you can do it right exactly right now. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. So basically, as you know, we've got the new universal rank players, of course, in FC Mobile. We've got two of them, two of the different ones. We've got 91 overall Mascheranos and 81 overall Dudex. And you can make a lot of coins with that. Obviously with Mascheranos, you can go ahead and rank up like highly pr priced player. And then you can go ahead and sell them but you might not want to do that because Mascheronos are because Mascheronos are very very useful right now in the game, right? You can go ahead and rank up like 94, 95 overall card untradeable maybe, and you want to go ahead and use that card. But 81 overall Dudex are not really useful anymore because most people are not using like 89 and lower overall cards, or if they are using them, they are trying to change those cards, of course, in their teams. And we are all going to get 90 plus overall cards out of the way very very soon. So you, what you can do is you can go ahead and rank up any of your player with not any of your but you need to go and choose the uh, choose these players to make a lot of coins but you can go out and rank up players from the market and you can go out and make a lot of coins with that so for example i went ahead and bought 10 isaac cards for example right there for 2.9 million coins each i went ahead and spent 29 million coins right there as you can see so you might think that's a lot of coins i went ahead and spent 29 mil as i said already but if you go ahead and uh, rank, uh, rank that card up, rank that 87 overall is like up with um, Dudex, I can go ahead and sell that, uh, sell those cards for a lot more. For example, I'm going to go ahead and rank up this 87 overall Isaac card with Dudex. And when I go ahead and rank him up once, he's obviously an 88 overall card now. And you might think you're not really making that much coins. Because uh, when you go ahead and rank up Isaac, I mean, his minimum price, let's go ahead and check out his price actually. Uh, his price is 20, uh, 2.9 mil right now, of course, 2.7, 2.9 mil. When you go ahead and rank him up once, you can sell him for 4.4 mil. But when you go ahead and rank him up two times, you can sell him for 6.8. Uh, if you rank him up three times, you can go ahead and sell him for 10 mil and so on and so on. If you rank him up fully, you can go ahead and sell him for 35 million coins right now. What I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to rank uh, some of the cards to rank two, some of the ranks to rank one, and I'm going to sell those cards and let's see how much coins I'm going to make with it. So, for example, I already sold, I already ranked up one of the cards to rank one. Let me go ahead and try to sell that card and they're pretty much going to sell straight away, right? You need to find players that are actually going to sell when they're ranked up as well. For example, this Pabon card, if you rank him up, you can see they're not really selling, right? But Isaacs are definitely selling. There is also this Hector Bellerin card. If you go ahead and rank him up to rank four, it is, you can go ahead and sell that card quite easily. But if you rank him up to rank two and rank one, I mean, you can sell them probably, but it's not going to be that easy. That's why I chose Isaac, because Isaac sells with any rank right there, as you can see. Let's go ahead and rank up more of Isaac's cards then. I think I've got like 13 uh, do deck cards, so I can rank up some of the players to rank one, some of the players to rank two. And we'll see how much coins I'm going to make with that one. Let's go ahead and rank up another 87 overall is that card to, to rank one. I'm going to rank all of the cards to rank one first. And then we're going to rank some of them to rank two as well. And let's see, as I said, let's see how much coins I'm going to make. And I'm not going to spend any coins with uh, ranking up Isaacs with another Isaacs, of course. I'm going to go ahead and rank up, rank them up with two decks because I, I don't really need two deck cards out the way in the game right now. We're going to rank up another... 87 overall is a card. Remember, I spent 20 to 29 million coins uh, ranking this card, uh, buying this is a card, of course. So let's go ahead and rank up all the cards and let's see at the end how much coins I'm gonna make. Let's go ahead and rank up another um, Alexander is a card right there. As I said, I'm gonna rank up all of them to uh, 88 overall. I'm gonna make them all 88 overalls and then I'm gonna rank them up, rank some of them to 89 overall as well. And obviously you need to choose right players for this as well. You can't choose any player. Any players are not gonna sell ranked up. This is a card is a good one because it sells right now. And by the way, when I upload this video, a lot of people, a lot of you might start buying his as well and he might not sell anymore because a lot of you might try to go ahead and sell that card, but you can definitely find some other cards that can sell quite easily. There we go. This is another do the card right there. We ranked up, I think seven or eight. Is it seven or eight? Or is it six? I'm not 100% sure. I've got one, two, three, four more. So we, we ranked up six of them already. So we're gonna rank up the other four and then we're gonna start doing rank twos, of course, as I said, already with these cards. And yeah, I spent 29 million coins. We'll see how much coins I'm gonna make at the end. 
and 88 overall is a card right there we've got three more to rank up to uh, 88 and i'm gonna use all my duda cards because i don't really care about what i don't really care about those duda cards anymore i'm not gonna rank up any 89 and the lower overall cards uh that are untradeable i'm just gonna go ahead and use this opportunity to make as much coins as possible Maybe do deck might be useful for some other exchange or something like that later on, but we are no 100% sure with that, of course. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this opportunity to make as much coins as possible with these two deck cards. As I said, though, you can go ahead and make this type of uh, this amount of co uh, coins with Mashuranos, but Mashuranos are going to be quite useful in the future as well. Right. This is going to be the last is a card that we're going to rank up to 88. We're going to go ahead and rank them up. Uh, 289 now then we're gonna go ahead and use this to the card to rank this card up to 89 uh, to 89 overall actually I'm not gonna rank up anymore I'm not gonna rank up anymore I'm just gonna save a couple of two decks and we'll see if you're gonna be able to um, or should I rank them up I'm just gonna do it I said that this at the start of the video I'm gonna do it so let's go ahead and use all the ranks so we're gonna rank up uh, three of my Isaacs to rank two and the seven of them are gonna be at rank one. And let's see how much coins I'm gonna make at the end after tax and after all that, of course. Another 88 of uh, Isaac. And here we go. This is gonna be all the Isaacs that I've got in my squad right now. And obviously all of you have got a lot of two decks in your squads, right? If you haven't used them, two rank, uh, ranked players, uh, there are 89 overall or lower. You should have a lot of Isaacs in your squads as well. We're gonna go ahead and start by selling these Isaac cards. I'm actually gonna sell them for max price, you know, and I'm gonna wait until all of them sells. If they don't sell for max price, if they don't all sell for max price, I might go ahead and lower their over, uh, lower their prices uh, uh, just to uh, just to upload this video, cause I think they're all gonna sell at some point, but I just want to show you that all of them have sold in this exact video. Let's go ahead and sell them for this amount as well, 4.4 million coins. And then we're gonna be right back. Obviously, as I said though, you can go ahead and do this with other players as well. And you can do, you can rank up like Isaac, for example, to rank four if you want to, and you can make your coins that way as well. Some of the Isaacs have started to uh, sell already. We're gonna max sell them all right there as well for 4.47 million coins. And we're gonna come back when all of them get sold. So I'm very, very excited to see how much coins I'm going to make. I didn't actually calculate how much coins I was making with this one. So as I said, I am quite excited with that 4.4 mil again. And here we go then. I think these are all the Isaacs that we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to be back when all of them sell and let's see how much coins I'm going to make without really doing anything, right? Without investing, without spending too much time on it. So here we go then. All 10 cards have sold for max price right there. As you can see, three of them have sold for 6.8 mil because uh, they're the, 90, uh, the 89 overalls and seven of them have sold for 4.47 million coins. And if you claim coins, you can see I've made 46.7 million coins. So that that is almost 28 million, uh, almost 18 million coins, right? So I've almost made 20 million coins and you can definitely make uh, 20 mil and even more than that if you choose even more right player than that uh, than what I have with Isaac right there it is 50 uh, 52 mil but obviously after tax we're gonna get 46 mil instead of 52 so this is profits after tax this is not uh, you, you should not take tax into consideration I made 17.7 million coins after tax and that's very very nice I've got 54 million coins right there so this is exactly how you can make 20 million coins and even more easily enough to know about right now in about five minutes 